there's a huge disconnect, Cave Dweller, between the white box and the glove box, which is where you keep your comics when you're on the road, right? I mean, glove box, white box, glove box. Okay, it's weak. Don't blame me for my weak metaphor. I'm just making this up as I go on the fly with my pants around my, uh, on my seat. In the words of a famous cartoon mascot, it isn't easy being cheesy. And that's it. We'll just end there. Kid Boy, as much as I love to regale you with true facts, facts about things that are absolutes, because I'm always right and you are nebulous, because everything you believe was imparted to you by media, parents, and your social milieu, which has now exploded into global fragments. You should listen to me. But I will just let you think whatever you want to think. It's your brain. I don't have anything to say about it. I really don't care about anything. I have no interests. I like nothing. I enjoy nothing. For my birthday, my two-thirds birthday, because I celebrate my birthday three times yearly, I ate an entire cake. It looked like this. I did not enjoy said cake. It tasted like a store-bought cake, which is what it was. I bought it in a store. And the store sold it to me after making it. And then I took it home and I filmed it and ate it. And I didn't miss enjoying it because I was filming a cave dweller. I missed enjoying it because it wasn't tasty. But that's beside the point. That is a tangent. An outsider visionary cartoonist who's a bum in Chicago. He carries around these hardcover black sketchbooks. You've seen them. Each page is a page of the comic. Approximately 100 pages per book. He's done 19 in the last 10 years. I think that's very prolific. 1,900 pages, right? Cave Dweller? I said to the gallery director there, wow, that's prolific. And he looked at me like I was a freak and goes, is it? Most artists do six paintings a year. Two books a year, that's not prolific. And I said to him, you have to remember, each one of these pages is just like those paintings. And he goes, yeah, but it's different. So Numb Nuts is trying to sell these books to collectors, but it's a hard sell for him because, first of all, he keeps them closed on the desk. Nobody, they're black on a black desk. Black, it's just some office junk laying around. I only knew it was there because he finally put, in, put up a display. Giant blow-ups of some of the pages. They sold miraculously. Whoa! Who'd have thought if you make something visible, it will sell? His second problem is he doesn't know how to talk about this outsider cartoonist because to him, comics are garbage. He clearly had contempt for the medium of comics. Raise your right hands and repeat after me. Five. Five.